Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. This is saving your disaster campaign. My name is Saiken and we're saving the campaign, The Royal Disaster. I think we're in uh, episode number six now, uh, or seven. It's going to be the last episode here, uh, getting yet another captain as a reward, kind of um, setting up um, the the whole roster even more. And I just wanted to really use this last mission in order to showcase um, how good the roster had become over time. Um, we're going in with uh, pretty much the uh, a large portion of of the A team. Some of our um, other soldiers here are still wounded, but uh, with the infirmary on the way. This is very soon going to uh, to become um, almost neglectable, so I think that the wounds will heal uh, up, yeah, until the mid of uh, this month. Um, with having yet another specialist, this time on a captain rank, uh, we would probably have all the tools at our disposal to successfully finish uh, this campaign. Um, we've already opened the Australian, um, uh, the Australian um, facility to uh, to prevent further advent um, uh, progress. We're also on the uh, way to opening North America, where there's another uh, facility yet again reducing the avatar progress. So the the main threat of losing this campaign due to uh, the lack of avatar progress is um, abandoned. There is no such thing anymore uh, so next month maybe there will be even a covered operations mission to further reduce the avatar progress um, shadow chamber can be built uh, that will allow for yet another mission uh, so there are plenty of tools available to uh, to really reduce uh, the, uh, the progress actually it really shouldn't be an issue at this point in the game And since we have updated um, the armor, all of the weapons, the med kits, the grenades can be updated soon. You just need to research the mutants. Um, the weapons would be upgraded to plasma very soon uh, with uh, Alarium as an option. Yeah, I think the campaign really has everything that it needs. We're picking up a steady stream of communications coming from a hidden alien comm relay uploading data to the advent network from this region. We have to take advantage of every opportunity to disrupt the aliens' progress on their latest operation. So we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Don't leave any hostages <coughs> standing. This mission here is classified as difficult, so I assume it shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. Let's take a close look. Okay, so everyone's just landing. That's all fine. Oh, nice. We got the cemetery map. starting concealed and you can see the extra armor really uh, pays off I mean we're having 10 hit points on almost all of our guys cemetery is such a nice map uh, with uh, high ground over here um, we need to get to this thing here and destroy it which shouldn't be too much of an issue actually using our Reaper move all the way in there's a horde of zombies again not necessarily difficult Heading out. everyone's still concealed 
Deploying grapple. Using our grappling hook just to speed up the process of uh, moving a little bit faster. I don't want to go too close to the edge here. Mm. For now, we're staying here. Oh, wait a second, this is our double agent. Shit, I thought, oh my god, why did I even position him here? Well, first of all, you can see that the double agent thing really works. Great, we have a double agent. I, I thought, just from the looks of it, it looked like our mech. So, I was just about to move them in. Anyways, my bad. Should have never moved him into the open. Stepping off. Alright, moving slowly out of here. Oh gosh, only loss. And even more loss as well. To be honest, that's actually not too much of an issue. Moving our mech in. Let's start triggering these guys. Let's give our soldiers a couple of kills. There you go. That's one down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we triggered another pick, but that's okay. And I think that triggered yet another pick. Heading out. Moving to the front. Our sniper will take good care of all of these guys. By the numbers. That's right. Not a problem. So let's open this side here. Wow. If we're only fighting against the boss this year is almost too easy as a mission. I mean, honestly, the lost have no chance. On my way. Moving up. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch.
Yeah, I think that makes sense. We have at least one potent enemy. Easy to target from high ground, takes increased damage from Templars, whom we don't have with us, can summon savage allies. Okay. Chance to return fire against missed shots, that's a problem. So little time. But he also is surrounded by the lost, and he's very, very often just targeting the lost. Chosen. This mission just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Observe how it's done. Yeah, we're taking one hit, I think. <laughs> Unfortunately, that didn't hit. So, this could be a hit. Yeah. Moving into cover, and... Let's get rid of all of these guys here. take a shot. Okay, so we can stealth afterwards. Problem with his stealth is he can easily be, te be detected by the Chosen, so we need to be careful. We know the Chosen is on top of the, uh, the roof, which means we can continue moving forward without being detected. Full cover. Let's try to get the guys from the rooftop. By activating them, we might activate them on the Chosen as well. Reload. And let's continue to kill these guys. Only the best. That's right. Nice. Scanning. Very, very Please solid. Let's see if the Chosen actually moves towards us. Okay, cool. We poisoned it. We even triggered multiple more loss, but none of them decided to attack the Chosen. Instead, everyone just moved into our direction. Done. 
Of course. He's the only one missing. What the f? So let's get rid of the Chosen without uh, wasting ammunition. It's one down. Two down. Three down. There's still one behind the check. Four down. Five down. So what exactly are we exploding? This? Let's try this to, re to remote start this. exploded everything with the exception of of the claymore mine and we got spotted out great beautiful I was hoping to be the first to get a shot at that ship of yours but I don't mind being the last either we've got the chosen in our sights it's time to take them out and we're going to do that. But first we need to probably fight through what feels like 500,000 uh, 500, uh, losses. Over to here. And time for an overdrive. First, let's get the ne necessary things out of the way. to hit him with the rocket launcher. Is that too much to ask for? Seriously? Apparently it is. In which case, we're just going to hit him normally. It's not going to end our turn. Think about that. Guess I like the uh, the position where we are at the moment. Uh, 
Okay, so <clears throat> we hit it quite often. This guy is still in full cover, which is part of the problem. Do we have an option to get rid of the full cover? We would. But that would mean we're using our sniper shot, which I actually would want to preserve. Yeah. We had an, we would have another sh choice. Let me try this. Not a problem. Not quite there. But we could teamwork in order to shift abilities um, over. Making a double move plus a grenade possible. This here should destroy, plus hit him as well. Continue to hit him. I'll chalk that up to beginner's luck. Ninety nine percent shot and he just dodges it. Beautiful. Not a bad shot, considering the shooter. Yeah, I can't get close enough to him. Probably should have used the Mimic Beacon. Okay, let's give it a shot. He's grappling away. Overwatching, which is a mistake because the Overwatch will be uh, triggered by the chosen, uh, by the loss. It's nothing there you go. <laughs> I can smell the fear on you. <laughs> Excuse me. So, moving over and let's try to kill the lost. Gosh. Care of both of them. Fair enough. Efficiency is my speciality. On my way. Two Elarium cores. Not too bad. I think that's exactly what he stole us with his sab sabotage. This here will bring him down to the ground. It doesn't matter that we're standing in the open. Once we kill the Chosen, this mission is over. 
Took some nice little falling damage, and I think we can snipe him. Yep, there we go. That's it. Yeah, I wouldn't say that that mission was difficult. Not bad, Commander. It's time for a tactical retreat. But we'll see each other again real soon. I'm sure we will. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that Chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary so, I'm not sure. I think we're... Um, I'll play it until the beginning of the next mission and then that would be it. As always, keep in mind, um, I will post a link below where you can find the save game file. If you want to continue this particular run, which I think is an interesting one to be honest, had been uh, had been a hard fought battle. Uh, if you want to continue it, feel free to do so. This just goes to show that the chosen are vulnerable and we can take them down. Nice, we got a captain here. Sting is such a good ability. And we got ourselves another specialist. You have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Look at that, Captain Specialist. Need to give him definitely a different helmet. I don't mince words when it comes to aliens. And the skirmishers are no different. I don't trust them. And I don't like sending my people out hand in hand with them. That said, they're definitely loyal to the commander. And they can put up a hell of a fight. So, that's a new, probably pretty good um, specialist. Let's take a look what his uh, abilities are going to be. Of course, medical protocol, revival protocol, field uh, medic. And threat assessment. Very, very nice. Maybe we can... Um, let's take a look at the training. We had a lot of luck with the new um, units. Blast padding is good. Implacable is also good. So yeah, there are a couple of uh, good um, abilities. Probably we're starting with the Haywire Protocol first. Uh, I think blast padding is really nice. Just to have this extra beefiness. Um, Implacable is also not bad, but I think we're going to start with Blast Padding. Yeah, it's an all-around good unit. Doesn't have death from above <coughs> or any other, like, imbalance the good ability, but still very, very solid soldier. Yeah, and we wanted to get the supplies. Still got enough time uh, left on the Avatar project. There's the infirmary. Super important breakpoint for this game because we can immediately put an engineer in here for 100% extra healing. We could upgrade it for uh, to uh, to remove the negative traits as well, um, but that is soon to come. We don't have the money for it yet. But look at the reduction. I mean, everyone's just going to be so much uh, so much uh, faster recovered. Black market is closed for six weeks. 
Our team is we got 135 into um, in return, which is good. That's enough to with 200 intel we can actually do a lot. Starting to research Elarium, like I mentioned before. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Yeah, this run here looks very solid now. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Look, even a promotion. And got the assault rifles. So I guess overall we would need more contact to the um, uh, more contact um, to to get the resistance orders, and I think one way of dealing with this is actually getting higher higher level um, connections with them. So. We'll continue to put soldiers in here. Same soldiers as before, 10 days. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. And just so we get more, um, more faction influence. This is not good. We need to be very careful about this but until the end of the month there is nothing going to happen this is a perfect option for us we're now having the ability to produce blue screen rounds super helpful and I would say since we already have two times an experimental ammunition might as well take an experimental grenade but we don't need the support of uh, the engineer we instead can reassign that person down here. Strategic resource. Yeah, and look at that. 87 resources down here. Even a couple of alien alloys. Shit, we can't get any more supplies. That is unfortunate. Because <laughs> the black market closed. That is indeed uh, very, very unfortunate. I mean, you could always make an argument and just spend 160 intel, I suppose. So in case the Avatar project would really uh, continue moving on, we could just take this facility and spend 160 intel to go over here. So that's an option. In the meantime, Avengers let's get the Alarium and the Alien Alloys. Alarium will be needed for the weapon upgrades. Alien Alloys are needed for many, many things. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. Ooh, okay. So it's even more important to take North America now. Still, I stand firm. Uh, this is, shouldn't be a problem. Everyone recovered from their wounds now. I must call upon your help to aid my followers. Ah, wow. Look at that. I mean, I'll leave it... Uh, I will leave it exactly with that mission. It's just a mission where you need to uh, kill the lost. This is not going to be difficult. You get a scientist, you get almost a hundred intel, you get a, two specialists on, in the captain rank. This is such an incredibly good mission. Um, but this is exactly where I leave it. A um, couple, uh, couple of remaining words. If I were to play this um, on, as soon as the Avatar project fills, you need to go into uh, into into the facility. You can make contact over here um, and pay the 160 intel. Probably it's even worthwhile doing that right now um, because you get another 100 intel right away. Build an um, build a tower, so um, 
a radio station over here and go to New Mexico afterwards. So these are two facilities just back to back, easy to uh, retain. You even get live fire training, any recruits training in the GTS will uh, upgrade to rank sergeant. So that's always a super good um, uh, continent bonus to have. There are two other options here. Uh, I think with the uh, contact via East Africa, you can also go through Europe and uh, Africa. But I would take the Nor North American route, it's just safer. And yeah, I mean, I'll leave the mission, uh, I'll leave the sa safe game as is. Doing this mission here will be pretty easy. I don't see any uh, any reason of not being able to do it. I declare this run officially as no longer stuck. Um, I hand it back uh, with plenty of options to reduce the avatar timing. I hand it back with an almost fully uh, recovered roster, a couple of captains and captain like um, uh, captain like Roberts. Uh, had almost a full second squad of lieutenants. Um, uh, almost another full squad of um, sergeants all of the three hero classes are available to be played and pretty good uh, hero class uh, pretty good versions of them i like the templar here a lot i also like the reaper a lot um, they are well on their way to uh, to become very very strong so this year with the weapon upgrades with the technology with the funds available really shouldn't be a problem so We'll keep it um, here and end the second um, Saving Your Campaign run. If you enjoyed what you've seen, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget uh, to leave a comment down below. If you want to send in your own mission, uh, just check the comments uh, down below, psychon 4 games at gmail.com. I am happy to review and um, replay the missions and give you an updated and, and fixed version back. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next round. Bye bye.